Are you a Disney fan? If so, did you know that Peter Pan from 1953 grossed more than $87 million worldwide? All of this on a budget of just $4 million. Man, with that kind of revenue, I can see why they made so many spin-offs and variations of this very popular Disney franchise. Hey, movie maniacs, welcome back to Movie Mistakes. And as I'm sure you've already guessed, we're going to show you 10 mistakes that we found in the 1953 classic. Peter Pan. Oh, and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell, too. And tune in every Wednesday and Saturday for more great videos like this one. So, without further ado, let's do this. Shame on you, upsetting the poor captain. There'll be no end outs to die. She now she. When Mr. Darling knocks over the building blocks that Nana just put together, you can see that there are many blocks scattered all over. In the next close-up shot of Nana, when she knocks over the remaining blocks, some of the first blocks have disappeared. In the beginning of the movie, when John and Michael are fighting, John has a red bandana tied around his head. When they all rush over to Nana, that bandana is gone, but right after that, when he's in bed, the bandana is back on and his mom takes it off of him. During the song You Can Fly, Michael picks up Tinkerbell because he wants to make Nana fly. When he does so, she's right side up. However, in the next shot, when he shakes her over Nana, she's upside down. He doesn't turn his fist in any way to make that happen, though. About two shots after Peter Pan says, second to the right and straight on till morning, you can see that Wendy's face is gone. While she flies nearer to the camera, her face slowly develops an eye. But that's all. Creepy. When we first meet Captain Hook, there is a pirate high above the deck of the ship singing. In one shot, his foot is resting on the sail of the ship. However, as the camera angle switches back and forth, his foot is no longer resting on the sail. A pirate In the mermaid scene, Wendy lands on a rock barely large enough to stand on. A few moments later, when she's being splashed by the mermaids, the rock has expanded to about four times its original size, and a seashell has miraculously appeared on it. You dare to come near me again! Wendy! Wendy! They were just having a little fun! After the mermaids splash Wendy with a ton of water, her hair is soaked, and you can tell because it's sort of hanging down and drooping. But then they cut away, and when they cut back to Wendy, her hair is perfectly dry. Wouldn't all ladies love to have that skill? We were only trying to drown her. You see? When Peter Pan and Hook are fighting on Skull Rock, and trust me, if you haven't seen the movie, this part is pretty exciting. Peter puts his knife in his mouth, which, come on, let's face it, it's kind of unsanitary. I mean, who knows where that knife has been? However, one shot later, that knife is safely back in its sheath. Give it to him, Captain! In the duel at Skull Rock, after Peter leads Captain Hook onto thin air, Hook drops his sword and scrambles to grab hold of the cliff again. But when we see Hook's reaction to the approaching crocodile, you can see his sword is back in its sheath. No. No. When the boys and Wendy are tied up on the ship, you can see Wendy is with them. In the next two shots, when you see them, Wendy has disappeared. But in the next shot, she's there again. Peter Pan will save us. Peter Pan will save us. <laughs> so what movie should we do next? Let us know in the comments section below. Just use the hashtag mistakes. 
we'll put it on our list. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell now. We want to give a huge shout out too to all the movie maniacs out there. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.